Hey guys, it's Steve here from the Checkpoint, the gaming channel where you get a free Emma Stern delivered to your door every time you subscribe. And today we are going to be playing Plants vs Zombies. I thought, you know what, it's Halloween uh, approaching, so I thought we'd do a quite a, a quite a game where um, it's quite scary, you know. There's quite a lot of spooky creatures. So, uh, what other scary games are there than Plants vs Zombies? I mean, even this soundtrack just uh, gives me chills. So uh, let's get straight into it. And if that's not terrifying, I don't know what is. Um, so, yeah. Let's, uh. Let me just turn it down a bit, actually. It's a bit, it's a bit loud on my end. I'm kind of just shouting. Good lord. Look at that. Epic battlefields. Is this, is this Frostbite 3? I don't think any of Range could handle that. Uh. Steve's house! Look at this! Oh! Uh, oh dear. <laughs> we seem to have, uh, some zombies on our, uh, on our doorstep. Right, um. So I found this game uh, quite a while ago. Actually, it's quite an old game. This is the first one. Uh, I know the second one is released, but I know there's just no point of playing the second one when it's pretty much the same, in my opinion. So, um, what was I saying? Yeah, I found this game a while ago. I bought it. I played it once, and then I never played it again. And um, I thought, you know what? It's time to time to uh, resurrect it, if you'll pardon the pun. Um, and just uh, start playing it again because it is Halloween soon, and I thought, you know, this this is scary. This is the scariest game I'll play. This is like my border. I'm not playing Amnesia or, or the, the new Amnesia or Outlast. That's that game I was thinking of. Um, not playing any of those. It's all about Plants vs Zombies, the most terrifying of games. And uh, as you can see, I'm up here in the webcam. Hello, um, I'm Steve. Howdy doody. That Emma Stone thing I said at the start, not true. Um, I wish. Uh, but it's not. Okay, so we just got a sunflower, it seems. Uh, gives you a di Ah, it's all coming back to me. So that gives me additional sun, and uh, you need sun to plant more pl plants and uh, fend off the hordes of undead that seem to want to eat me. I'm not sure why. I'm not the most attractive of people. I don't have. Well, I have a fair amount of meat on me. I don't think. I just don't think zombies would like like my taste. I've been uh, told that I taste a bit of um, chicken. But uh, not not actual like spoiled chicken, like rotten chicken that's been there for weeks. That's probably my my taste. So I don't think uh, zombies would appreciate that. But then again, the uh, don't seem to be picky with what they eat. <laughs> um, if The Walking Dead has taught me anything, God, I love The Walking Dead. They should do like a DLC pack for Plants vs Zombies about The Walking Dead. All the characters could be like have their face superimposed onto like sunflowers and stuff. That'd be great. Well, this guy is just helpful, that's just like, <laughs> here, we've got a zombie approaching, I haven't even got a pea shooter there. Alright, hopefully you can take him out before he gets to us. Um, and we'll be able to plant more plants and uh, do more things. So, uh, I think we don't want um, sunflowers like in front of the pea shooters because if they take out our sunflowers then we're pretty much screwed because sun doesn't really drop in regular intervals so we need a we need a good good uh, pea uh, sunflower ratio I think um, do you reckon we'll be good with like one line of pea shooters alright let's put another one out there just for the lols because I'm rich YouTube money that's uh, how we do these horrible sound effects it's gross the impact of the peas hitting the the decadent bodies of those zombies ah oh, it's just music to my ears right just even it up a bit and there we go that's my empire my empire of, of pea firing plants I have a legion this is the uh, the uh, death dealing squadron of high octane uh, soldiers that I've got here and uh, I think they're doing pretty well could give them names in the future oh the soundtrack's just kicked up with the, the heavy beats looks like they're sending everything at us uh, where I'll put here and uh, I think I think I can just leave it now so let's just maybe collect a bit of sun there we go alright was that a cherry? yes cherry okay Cherries, useful. Um, blow up all zombies. Oh, that that is quite <laughs> that is quite useful. That serves me right for being a uh, judgmental. Uh, my house once again looking beautiful. Oh my god, they've got cones on the heads. 
That's like what I did when I was like, far I'm kidding. I, I still do it when I'm like, I'm 17. I still put kerns on my head and charge around like a, like a deadly unicorn, just like spearing people with a kern on my head, <laughs> just charging at people. Ah, oh, how rude of me, how rude of me. Okay, so we need to, I think, alright, alright, we need to get a pea shooter, like, now. Okay, there we go, we've got one, one defender, one brave warrior taking on the zombies. I mean, if, there, if there's ever a zombie apocalypse, I get this question quite a lot, you know, Steve, if there was a zombie apocalypse, where would you go, what would you do? Actually, I might do a commentary on that at one point, which will be on this channel. Um, Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I meant to get another sunflower. Oh lord. Oh, but now I need to... Oh, that was a bad move, that was a bad move. Um, I get that question a lot, like, what would I do in a zombie apocalypse? And I think um, I'd uh, go straight to my local... Where do these sell plants? Of B&Q? I don't know if Americans have B&Q or whatever. But I'd go straight to there, because it's basically a giant warehouse full of stuff. And I'd uh, get some seeds. Oh, come on. Please, based god. Pleased. Pl ple Did I say pleased? I meant please. Please, based pea shooter. Alright, I think we're okay after that little panic. Oh, look at this guy with the kern on the head. So I guess that's like armor for them. They're like, the kerns on the head represent like slightly more armor. It's not really a juggernaut type thing. I mean, it's just a kern, but I don't know. Maybe it is. Um, some special high utility armor. I hear uh, in the SAS now they're actually putting uh, kerns on the heads instead of um, instead of like military helmets. They're just putting kerns on the heads. Um, that's uh, that's fine and dandy, right? I think once this pea shooter charges up, we'll put it right under those those ones there, and then we'll try collect enough sun for a. Um, a bomb, a cherry bomb, when the um, when the big wave approaches, which is soon. I think we'll, we'll be good with like two um, rows of pea shooters. I'm kind of OCD on this game, but I think you have to be to make a good like strategy. So, all right, we'll wait for this guy to be taken out. This double rapid firing pea shooters. Oh, well, isn't this fun? This is this series is probably going to be continuing until Halloween night. Um, Actually, I won't be here on Halloween night, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll schedule the upload for Halloween night. I don't know. I'll see when I have time. Um, but this is purely a Halloween thing, just to get us kicked off on this channel. All right, watch this. Oh my God! It's like a nuke. Fantastic. And we. Wow. <laughs> this guy looks like a badass. He looks like he's gonna kick some butt. Wow. It's a walnut. Blocks off zombies and protects your other plants. <laughs> wow, there we go. Right. We'll get through this last horde and we'll go. Ooh! Some more grass roots. Well, at least my garden looks like an actual garden now. And not just a wasteland outside my house. Alright, give me some sun, baby. Give me that sun. Thank you. And we're gonna need to get some pea shooters down in a second. I just need like three more, three more songs. Zombies are coming. All right, okay. For zombies, they're very, uh, they're very articulate. Okay, go. Right, that should deal with him. So we're going to work on collecting more sun. Uh, what would be the, what would be the best idea? Would it be to make get more sunflowers, or would it be to? All right, we need we need this pea shooter here anyway. I think we'll have a row of sunflowers, a row of pea shooters, and then a row of walnuts. Um, right, let's get another sunflower while we have the time. Bang, bang. Can be collecting sun for days. Alright, we need a new, another pea shooter right underneath the uh, one at the bottom here. So let's do that. And uh, I think it's advised to have at least three sunflowers uh, at any time to give you like the maximum. Actually, I'm going to put another sunflower down. I want to work on getting those walnuts set up as well, and uh, we'll get the uh, cherry bomb purely for defense. Uh, well, not defense, offense. When um, 
when it comes to that. So let's do that. Do that. Alright, we need one more pea shooter for the uh, oncoming horde. Because there is a big horde that's going to come when this little zombie meter in the bottom right hits the... Uh, hits the... Uh, the end, the flag. So, uh, yeah, let's put pea shooter there. Ooh, it is one of the bigger ones, actually. Right, let's... Okay, I don't... Right, let's keep him at bay with that. And put another in there. And I don't know how long they, they feed on those uh, walnuts for before they push through, so hopefully this guy gets taken out. Right. So it seems the block for quite a while. Yeah, that's that's an alright uh, amount of time. Alright, all right, let's get another one here. You know what, let's put another walnut there. Pop that there. Oh, this is intense. This got intense real fast, guys. This got intense real fast. Oh, we need... See, this is a good game, but the real question is, do the fish move out of the way when you swim towards them? That's the real question here. That, that truly makes a game next gen. Okay, so we need to get a walnut. A couple of walnuts, actually. Actually, we need another fish shooter there. Right, now we just need walnuts. Look at this! Just so organised! Some would call it OCD. I call it being really organised. Ooh, it's after this zombie it's gonna be the wave. Right, come on, recharge. I need I need I need another walnut. We do have enough for a cherry bomb if like a huge amount of them approach. Right, hopefully we'll be able to. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, let's drop that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Actually, I think we'll be good. Yeah, I think, I think we'll be alright. Okay, let's just... Unless more come like, around the corner. I think, I think we're going to be okay. I bet I'll just collect this sun for no reason. Right, hopefully this guy gets taken out. Yep. Ooh. We've got a spade. Well, you look at that. Let's uh, see what we've got here. At least you dig up. No, uh, that is really useful, actually. Um, what? Ooh, good lord! <laughs> Who is this? The name's Crazy Dave. Actually, uh, should I like speaking about this? The name's Crazy Dave. But you can just call me Crazy Dave. <laughs> Listen, I got a surprise for you. I, I, I'm pretty sure this guy is a zombie. But first, I'll need you to clear your lawn. Use your shovel and dig up those plants. <laughs> Alright, let the digging commence. Dig. 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 Well, isn't that nice? Okay, goody. Now for the surprise. We're going bowling. Here, take this walnut. Why'd I put a walnut in your hand? Cause I'm crazy! <laughs> it's like, um, what's that guy called? I've totally forgotten his, his name's just escaped me. The guy who sings, um, Louis Armstrong! Louis Armstrong! That's who that was. Crazy Louis Armstrong. Oh, this fun ass mini game. Look at this. Oh, this is actually rather fun. Alright, let's get these guys out of the way first. And then we can just, uh, yeah, let's get all the, yeah, Kern guys out of the way first, and then we can just one-shot the rest of them. The soundtrack for this game is actually quite good. See, from the outside, it doesn't seem like a very good game. I mean, plants versus zombies, you know, it just seems a bit... Wait, can they re rebound and hit? No, I thought they could. It seems like a, a really dumb game, you know. Oh, they can rebound. Collapse for days. Sign me up, Faze. Um, it seems like we can, um, like it'd be a, ooh. wow, like it'd be a bad game, you know, Plants vs. Zombies, it doesn't sound like the most attractive game, but, um, it's actually really good, it's a really nice game, and, uh, I'd recommend you try it out, it'll be very cheap right now, I think I got it for, like, three pounds or something, uh, so, in, uh, dollars, I'm not sure what that'd be, but, god, this could go very wrong. 
I need to take out a couple more of these guys. Oh, good. Good lord. Alright, we're gonna be fine. Oh, right. Okay, the gaining on us. I need another one of those exploding ones. That'd be helpful. I don't know why I put it there. That was a dumb move. Let's go. Oh, oh no. Right, let's put it there. Get rid of that. Oh, God. Alright, it's cool. <laughs> Uh, I've got to save this. Thing. Right, this one. There. Right there. That was that was a bad move. <laughs> that was the worst one of all time. Right, I thought that'd take out all three, but it didn't. Okay. Right, so we need. I think these are the last guys, are they? Yeah. Uh, there we go. That should be it. Bang! What on earth is that? What the hell is that? Is it like a mole? Potato mine. Explodes on contact but takes time to arm itself. Well, I think we are... Alright, I think um, we've done six levels. And uh, I think I think that should be the end of the episode. Uh, so thank you for tuning in. And uh, if you want to see more videos from us, then uh, please be sure to subscribe. We've got some great stuff coming your way. We've got videos from Kieran, from Stuart. It's going to be great. So uh, make sure you keep your eyes peeled for them. Not not li literally. Don't, don't actually peel your eyes like like an orange. Don't do that. Um, because even if it is Halloween, that would be very scary. And nobody wants to be scared. So uh, thanks for watching. And I will see you.